Ouch, that hurts. <laughs> Psych, stop playing with me. Her face all in the taxi. <laughs> what? Like, sis, we ain't even doing this. Nice. We literally just walking, trying to get in our Uber. Like, stop playing. She still ain't get a pass from me. So, I got a little too, cause I was just out with my friend and I just randomly thought about how this um, bitch, girl, let me just get down to the nitty gritty, okay? See, I be wanting to do more story times, but like some of the story times I feel like be like a little too extreme for YouTube, so I like kinda like, I either have to censor it too much or like I can't like fully say it, you know, or I gotta bleep too much out. And it's like, why even tell the story time? I'm gonna tell you about how I got into a brawl on my 21st birthday because somebody was being racist and me and my friends wasn't having it, okay? Wasn't having it. Case closed. <laughs> Some of the details I don't fully remember because I am 23 and I have an attention span of a goldfish. I literally can't really remember anything. I'll be in the middle of talking about something, forget what I talk about. In the middle of me speaking it, it's just like my memory is terrible. So some of the stuff I'm kind of going to forget, but we're going to have to go with it because I remember the main points and that's just, that's just what it is. My teeth look a little white. <laughs> I've been using whiteness strips. <laughs> Anyways, first birthday, right? Okay, boom. So, I had went to Hawaii. Yeah, I went, well, this, my, this must be my 20, it's either my 21st or my 22nd birthday. Don't remember. Whatever year I went to Hawaii, I think that was my 21st. Girl, that's beside the point. So, <laughs> after I came back from Hawaii, I had planned to go out with my friends. So, I got this one friend that, like, kind of is, like, the plug when it comes to the moves. Sis always know where to go. She know all the hot spots. So, I'm like, sis, where should I go for my B-Day? Like, I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? Put me on. Put me on some game. So, she was like, okay, we're going to go to this place called, um, what was the old name of it? Because they changed the name. Girl, I don't remember the old name of it, but it's, it's called some, like, electric hotel or some, some now. I don't know. It's, it's some wild stuff now. So, she's like, let's go there. I'm like, okay, boom. That's fine. So the place is down by my school. I go to UIC, University of Illinois at Chicago, which is downtown. And it is a very diverse school, but like the neighborhood is like not really diverse, if that makes sense. Like it's just, it's, it's a lot of Caucasians, which there's nothing wrong with that at all whatsoever. But I just want you to like peep the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm going to a place that's down by my school, you can kinda already tell like what the crowd gonna be like. You know what I'm saying? No ifs, ands, or buts, because they have they know how to have a good time. So I just I just you know I just had to throw that out there. But we go to the place. I have my little pink wig, pink pink 26 inch wig. I have my long ratchet nails. I had the whole nine. I had on some real sparkly. I had on some red bottom shoes. It was real sparkly out there. Then I had on this black like tight. What is it? One piece sparkly set. No, not a set of jumpsuit. And then I had on this like leather black jacket with the little fur. I was popping. Then my friend had done my makeup so fast. I was just so cute. You know what I'm saying? I was feeling myself. Me and all my friends was tea. You know, it was probably like five of us, maybe five. So we like, yeah, let's go, girl. It's my birthday. Even though my birthday had passed already because I was in Hawaii for my birthday. We just like, yeah, let's tee up. We get to the place. They playing the oops, 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 oops kind of music, right? So, you know, you know, it's fine. I, I get down to the oops, oops, oops. I get down to that, too. No offense or buts. So I'm feeling it, feeling myself, me and my friends, got money to spend. <laughs> Have money to spend. We all really, we only really went out to take the pictures because we all looked really cute. It was my birthday, you know. It just gave us an excuse to go out, even though it was like so cold outside. Cause I, my birthday's in January. We having a good time, you know what I'm saying? And it's time to go. Right? I'm like, okay, cool, bet. Let's let's go. Let's call our Uber. And 
that's just that, you know, life's been cool, you know, I ain't had no problems, I never have any problems when I go out by my school, like, literally ever, I never had no problems, I always have a good time, sometimes I don't have a good time, but, like, I never have, like, an issue with, like, other people, if that makes sense, how many times am I gonna say does that make sense, no idea, anyways, <laughs> we called an Uber, right, Uber's outside, we're like, oh, okay, bet, all right, let's leave, walking out to the car, it was a group of three girls and then two dudes or it was a three three guys and three three girls right so we're walking across the street to get in our uber minding our business it's fine i'm standing out because obviously i got a long pink wig on these sparkly bread bottoms this sparkly bodysuit all my friends look super pretty my one friend had on like this like gold metallic dress and then my other friend i don't remember what she had on but it was all so cute and we already stood out one because we were black and two i mean we all weren't black but like i was black and i had on pink hair and all this other stuff so you know i stood out we could walk across the street and my one friend said um I don't really remember the exact words she said, but she either said something like, she said your friend outfit, my one friend told me, talking about my other friend, that girl right like there just said her outfit looked cheap or something, it was something of that nature. And I said, what? Like, sis, we ain't even doing nothing. Sis, we literally just walking, trying to get in our Uber, like, stop playing. So I turned around to see who she was talking about because I didn't want to tell my friend because I didn't want it to be that big of a deal. But I turned around and I see who she was talking about. The girl was just like really, she was going to her, she, and mind you, she was going to a taxi. First of all, who goes to, who who catches taxis in, in uh, this day and age? Baby, get you an Uber, get you a Lyft, get you a something, get you a bike. Taxis out of there. No, and usually I wouldn't have a problem with that. Usually I wouldn't have a problem with that, but she tried to go on my friend. So I'm just like, what? <laughs> I don't like that. I'm like, hold on, wait. What? She said, who outfit look cheap? <laughs> I really didn't do all that, but in my mind I did. So I turned around, and the girl just really popping ish. She like, ew, her outfit looks cheap. She was so, 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 so drunk. But she still ain't get a pass from me. She, her outfit looks cheap. But it's just so crazy to me because I know I keep pausing the story and like coming back to the story and like pausing it again, but it's just like a really touchy subject because we were literally minding our business. And like, it was so many other people on the street it was so many other people that she could have been talking about, but she had to just be talking about us. So I'm offended. And I'm going to take that with you. Okay? But she's like, her outfit looks cheap. I can't stand it. Ew. And I turn around and I'm like, who outfit looks cheap? Who's? And she like, her. <laughs> exactly how she said. She like, her. She was so drunk. Her friends were trying to get her to the car and all type of stuff. So I'm like, after that, I really don't like specifically remember like everything i said or everything she said but i just know my friend had peeped seen she peeped the scene and she like oh do we have a problem and i'm like yes we have a problem we walk back across the street to the taxi and the girl's still yelling like you our outfit looks cheap <laughs> she's talking bro her outfit looks cheap. But this is where she messed up. Up until then, this is just a regular argument, you know what I'm saying? You talking about how cheap her outfit looks. I'm popping ish because you ain't about to talk about my friend outfit. First of all, she don't look cheap. You just mad that you don't look this good in it. You know what I'm saying? If anything, you look cheap. But I'm not going, to, you know, I'm not going to toe to toe with you because it's not that big of a deal. You're drunk. I get it. You know, come on, join the bridge for all I care. Not really because I'm, you know, still trying to take up for my friend. But just it's like, you know, it's, it's really not that big of a deal. But this is where she crossed the line. When we cross the street, she come. When we cross the street and come back, and we like in her face now because she was just like doing way too much and by this time she's like trying to run towards us her friends trying to get her in the car and all this other stuff and she used to say you ghetto nigga bitch 
Huh? Wait, excuse me. Baby, did you just say what? Oh, it's time for me to take my wig off because now we got a problem. Sis, now we got a problem. Now I wasn't trying to get too hyped up and riled up with you, but now I'm about to take it there, sis. <laughs> I got a lot to lose, but tonight I'm coming for you, baby. Mind you, it was me and my other friend, the one she was talking about her outfit, we was the two black ones. And then I had my one friend who like is the plug, she's mixed. And then I had two other girls that was with us. I think it was two other girls, but they weren't black. I'm off bat offended because first of all, you don't even know me, sis, for you to sit up here and call me a ghetto. First of all, I'm ghetto because what I got pink hair and I look better than you. Baby, are you mad because you can't pull it off? Because I was popping. That's the only reason why she said that though, because I wasn't like literally, I mean, we was arguing back and forth, but like, sis, ghetto. Come on, I met her with a hard R. Come on, a bitch. Like, it was just like, wow, it was just three insults in one. Maybe you could have just called me the B word. Okay, cool. You know, females call each other that every day. Ghetto, not ghetto at all whatsoever. You could have called me that, and I could have I could have let it slide. But a ghetto... Ouch, that hurts. <laughs> Psych, stop playing with me. <laughs> nah, but after that, it was over with. So I'm all in the taxi now. I'm not, I'm all in the taxi. Oh, you want to call me a ghetto? Bitch? Oh, well, I'm going to give you something to call me a ghetto bitch. bitch. <laughs> I'm all in the taxi. I'm off this all in her head. They're like, please, get out of go, get out of go. Yeah, you gonna wish you want me to get the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah, she tried it. You got the right ones. Mind you, my other friend. On the same on on the on the same note with me. Oh, we got a problem? Yes, sis, we got a problem. Okay, bet. <laughs> That's just kind of person she is. But it's not even like we were just like starting something because we weren't, we were minding our business. So she was offended right along with me and she had the right to be. Like, why are you trying to come at this for no fucking reason? You know what I'm saying? Sorry, my nose is running. After that, it was like some two Caucasian dudes that was standing outside of the like little um, club or whatever. And they're like, hey, you don't say that to them. I'm talking about the other people. <laughs> Talk about the other people like you don't say that to them. That's not nice. <laughs> you don't do that. That's not. You're not supposed to say that. And I'm like, yep. You tell them. You tell them. <sighs> Got me all riled up. I didn't even have my wig glued down, and and she didn't move a smidge. Cause they didn't even. They didn't even have a chance. After they got muffed up, scruffed up, riled up, scuffed up a few times. The taxi door closed and they went on about their day. One thing I do gotta say is Brandon's sis was drunk, but I feel like your true feelings come out when you're drunk. So, do I give her a pass? Absolutely not. If I was to even remember her face and I see her again, would I check her again? Nah, probably not. <laughs> that was like two, three years ago, but if she tried me again, then of course back to my friend's house after that and I was just like so in shock I'm like how dare this how dare she how dare she disrespect the queen on her birthday God, and I was feeling myself you have the nerve to call me a ghetto nigger bitch who felt that oh she wanted to hit me where it hurt it stung just a little bit but sis I promise you, I promise you, she's miserable on the inside, and that's okay. That's okay, because I'm... <laughs> I don't care, honestly. <laughs> I really don't care, but the one thing that I learned from this situation is I got to stop letting people um, take me out of my element, because I'm not even like that, okay? If you can't even, if you can't tell, I'm really not even like that, but, like, she took it there with sis. <laughs> 
How dare she on my birthday? <laughs> Girl, whoever you was, what's up, sis? <laughs> sis, you probably mad because you want to kick it with the big dogs and you can't. It's probably mad because it was all popping and we took the attention from you. You know, you can't hang with us. You can't sit with us. None of that. And I would never, ever, 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 ever in my life ever let somebody take me out of my element like that because I proved her point. Me yelling and muffin sis all in her face, all in the taxi, <laughs> all in the taxi, that just proved like I'm ghetto, which I'm not. But, you know, obviously that's what she was trying to do, even though she was drunk. Y'all get y'all friends. Before they try to write one and they be like, you know, like, because mm, people's crazy. Y'all gotta watch y'all words. Okay? If you wanna be racist, sis, keep that to yourself. But I wish I would ever let somebody get that much control of me over 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 my emotions again for me to be all riled up looking like a fool. And I'm a classy queen. We don't do that, baby. We don't we don't do it. Okay? <laughs> uh, so that was the story of at one time she called me a ghetto nigger bitch on my birthday because I was popping since she was really just mad that's really what it was and that's fine you're probably failing your classes for the semester you know running out of financial aid you know didn't have your rent money you know the whole nine like that's really why she was mad. And she was just taking it out on us. Because we were literally, I'm going to stress this once more, walking to our Uber out of the freaking hundreds of people on the street. You want to put us out? It wasn't even hundreds. It was probably like 75, 80 people on the street. But you know how Chicago streets be. You wanted to, you wanted to, oh, okay, bet. No worries, because I guess I'm for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I want to ask y'all if y'all want more story times, but it's like, like I said before, my story time can be a little juicy, you know, I don't want to be telling my secrets because, you know, <laughs> but I might have a, little, a couple of little story times coming in the near future, so. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.